Welcome back, WW Fly Corvair. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a carburetor that we've had in testing all year. This is a Rotec TBI. It is a product of Australia. It is a uh, excellent carburetor, and going forward in 2020, uh, we are going to uh, utilize this as the base carburetor for Corvairs. It is brand new, it is not a rebuild, and if you look at it, it is clearly a flat slide carburetor, and it is diaphragm controlled, and it fits the intake manifolds and fits into the space configuration that we've used for years. Uh, this is a well-proven carburetor. It's been out for a long, long time. But in recent years, it's had two very significant modifications to it. One, it has the ability to uh, shed fuel vapors, and very, very importantly, it has this button right here that allows the diaphragm to release the pressure inside. This is uh, functions as a primer uh, and amongst other things. This is an excellent carburetor and it does have full authority mixture control on it. Uh, the carburetor is uh, fundamentally simple. Uh, it is CNC manufactured to very high degree of accuracy uh, and it is a really good product. And, if you look at it, uh, I want to clarify some differences to other uh, carburetor systems. The first thing people ask is, well, how much is it? This particular carburetor, as I'm talking to you with the exchange rate, uh, this is about $850 through us. Now that's not cheap, but this thing is good and it's consistent. Uh, I have a dealership for these. Uh, we bring them in and uh, what we're doing with them is I'm running every single one. This comes with an excellent 75 page manual. Uh, this has all the details in it, but there are a few fine adjustments that you have to the uh, system to set it up. It's not an internal jetting, it's just setting some stops on the outside of the carburetor. We run each one on my test stand on a Corvair motor uh, through its full power cycle and set those adjustments for you. This single carburetor covers all Corvairs 2700 through 3.3 liter. Uh, we send it to you tested, run, uh, checked out, and verified, and we can get it to you for the range of $850. This does not require a primer because it has this button on it. Uh, it can work as a gravity feed carburetor, or it can work as a pressure carburetor. That's the advantage of a diaphragm. It needs no pressure regulator. That's the pressure regulator right there. So, uh, uh, works really, really well. These come from good people down under. So, uh, I've had a really good uh, uh, experience with these. They had an earlier model. The very early models did not have the diaphragm on them. Uh, then they had an external diaphragm. Then they came with the diaphragm on them and then the modifications of the two previously pointed out features. That's what makes this carburetor evolving. The first thing people say is, well, 850 bucks, I can get a little red flat slide carburetor uh, from the Sonics people. The difference is, uh, is that this is a fundamentally uh, sophisticated carburetor because it's diaphragm controlled, and for that reason, it can take uh, fuel pressure uh, and uh, a uh, aero carb. The red small flat slide carburetor does not have these features. That's one of the reasons why it's less expensive. Although aerocarbs have flown on Corvairs, they do require primers, they require fuel pressure regulators if you're using any type of uh, 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 fuel system like you had a low wing airplane. For those reasons, I have never recommended an aerocarb be used on a Corvair. Now I know of a single example where it was used for more than a thousand hours, but it does require jetting changes with all types of atmospheric changes. And again, uh, I don't like external fuel pressure regulators on any fuel system on an, ex on an experimental aircraft. This gets beyond all of that. The second comparison people often use is, hey, that thing looks pretty close to an Ellison EFS 3A. And it is. Uh, the Ellison EFS 3A was a workhorse carburetor in American experimental aviation for decades. Uh, this carburetor is a very, very close, or its origins are very, very close 
to the Ellison. The Ellison had international patents that expired, and this carburetor was built after the expiration of those patents. So it, it uh, has a number of those features, but it does also have two features, the primer button and also uh, the uh, vapor return circuit on it that an Ellison does not feature. Uh, it is less expensive than an Ellison. Uh, Ellisons uh, are an excellent carburetor. Uh, they are not out of business. Ellisons are uh, run by NV Aero in the United States. They have uh, av uh, availability that's limited at this time. These uh, availability of these carburetors is not limited. And as I say, it does uh, uh, eliminate the need for a primer. Uh, and I do like the uh, vapor return line on the carburetor, allowing it to be purged of hot fuel. So uh, this is an excellent starter, even when the engine's hot, it's got excellent idling performance. Uh, it's just a really good setup. Previously, we had recommended to people uh, looking for a budget uh, that they use uh, Stromberg carburetors, and Strombergs were pretty good. I have a separate video on Strombergs I'd like you to watch to show you why Strombergs have limited applicability going forward today. Uh, it's a good comparison to this carburetor. But 2020 and moving on, this uh, I've completed 30 years of working with Corvairs. And moving forward into the new decade, uh, I want people who are building a Corvair today and have not made a carburetor selection to really pick between two carburetors that make sense to me. This uh, carburetor right here or a brand new MA3 SPA, which is about $1,600. The concept of uh, new and built in controlled circumstances has proven to work better than rebuilds done in the field as uh, we've had some issues with that and I want to take that out of people's experience of home building. So uh, this would be your baseline carburetor from 2024 on. If you're thinking of uh, uh, putting together a Corvair, this would serve very, very well in both gravity feed and pressure feed applications. So. Uh, you know, keep an eye out. This will be the this will be the base carburetor. As I've said, it's uh, below a thousand dollars. An MA3 SPA, excellent carburetor, about sixteen hundred brand new. But when you look at the uh, experience of what people are paying for rebuilds and some of the difficulties they're having in rebuilds, uh, almost all the rebuilds end up costing more than this does brand new, and they don't have the features of this fuel system. Uh, ME3s, uh, we've had problems with them being jetted excessively rich and had a long time getting those worked out of the system. Again, I didn't provide those, I merely recommended them as the ideal carburetor. And the variations that got delivered to customers who went out shopping for them, uh, that's where the problem was. So by selecting a known carburetor that comes from us, that's fully tested, or a brand new MA3 SPA, you can eliminate uh, the variables from the system. And basically what I want everybody doing going forward is to have uh, a predictable performance from their fuel system. There's a lot of great flying out there. There's a lot of great things to do. If you're a Corvair guy, you selected the Corvair, not just because it's inexpensive, but also because it's your personal standard that you wanted to learn things. Learn this lesson. There's no substitute for reliability. It may cost a little bit more. In this case, this actually costs less than some of the rebuilds. But what I want to do is have people concentrate on all the things that you can learn about your aircraft, good stick and rudder flying, all types of, of uh, uh, engine operation stuff to make you a professional at this stuff. And that is done with known carburation working for you. So keep an eye out for this on runs during this year. Thanks very much. If you like this type of content, please remember to subscribe. Your subscription is important. Check the text below for more comments and links to stories about carburation, fuel system selection, and applications. Thank you very much. We'll see you out on the flight line.